How's it going, everyone? How you doing? Welcome to the preseason interview for the coach of the Colchester Celtics. I was about to say the other name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poke Pidge, first and foremost, my friend, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, it's it, yeah, I'm doing absolutely fine. Nothing's going wrong. <laughs> I didn't have a video yeah. corrupt about an hour before doing this. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing all right. I've had a short day, so nothing's gone wrong yet. Um, <laughs> Touch wood. All good. <laughs> um, now, to any people who may have found you through the EBL or maybe friends of the EBL, why don't you go ahead and give a little interest to who you are, what you do on the channel, and pretty much what you're all about. Um, I am I am Pokey Pitch for now. Anyway, there's going to be a rebrand soon. Um, and generally I just try and do Pokemon content and make it funny if I can. So I just, <laughs> I just try and do Nuzlocke series and make them entertaining. I'm recording some challenge videos with people and I'm just trying to make them focus in more on just having fun. Uh, do some nice little shorts on TikTok and YouTube here. Yeah, just generally just try and play Pokemon and have a laugh. I love it. Uh, and his videos are funny, so do check him out, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, let's get into this. The the meat and potatoes of the interview, the actual interview here. Um, first question up, what is going through your head as we continue to get closer to the start of the season on February 25th? Well, <laughs> what's going through my head? Um what going through my head is that maybe I should probably start thinking about week one, to be honest. Uh, I, I've sort of been looking at people's teams as a, as a whole, but I haven't really been looking at my actual like um, week by week battles that I've got scheduled. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's what that's my thoughts. I, I think I'm generally okay with what with what kind of plays I want to do with what I have, but. Yeah, my thoughts at the moment are just, yeah, week one. It's actually not that far off. You should probably think about that. <laughs> maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, now, obviously, you are a back-to-back -back finalist. One of those finals you made, you did become champion. Um, so, I mean, you, your, your first season was already, you know, a huge success. And then you turn around and you backed it up by, you know, reaching the final again. Um, so, are you feeling more confident Heading into this season compared to last season, or your for your first season rather, um, it's a weird one. I, do you know what? Yeah, I think I'm I'm fairly confident. The first one, I just wanted to just have fun and just see how I do, because I'd been watching it since season one. I joined in mm -hmm. season three, and I was like, yeah, I just want to have fun, and ended up winning, <laughs> um, <laughs> which sounds like a humble brag, and it probably is. Yeah. But um, yeah, and then I think season four, I felt like I had like uh, a a reputation to live up to because I've never done competitive before and I started to think like oh god do people think I'm good now <laughs> you sort of think because uh, yeah maybe not and then yeah I, I, I got to a final I was like oh my god I've done it so then this time I'm genuinely like quite confident in my abilities now and instead of either having fun or having the pressure I'm now just like yeah you can you can do this it'll be all right mm. it'll be fine <laughs> Well, I'll go ahead and <clears throat> ask you this before we get into these next questions. Are you, are you talk about pressure? Is is there just sort of a this this unspoken pressure for you to try and live up to that you know back to back final reputation? I, 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 I think so, because um, I, oh, it's a weird. One. I don't think like down of myself if that makes sense. So when I hear people saying like a, a good thing about it, or they'll say like I don't know, playing me is a difficult game. I do sort of take it as a compliment, and it sort of lifts the confidence. Like, oh wow, okay, that's what people think of me because I've not had that before. Like, no one's thought, oh, he's a great battler because I've never really done it before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a yeah. So it's it's a new it's a new feeling, and every diff each season I'm trying to handle it in a different way. Um. So you mentioned your your preparations here. Are they non-existent or just very <laughs> limited right now? <laughs> um, well, they're like physically preparing the mons. I'm mm. I'm, do I'm doing all right. I 
because my team is, we'll go into this in more detail I'm sure, but my team, I've just, I've drafted a team of nine Pokemon that haven't been used before in EVL in four seasons. So it, they're all totally new. So people might not know what I'm going to do with them. And because it's totally new and no one had used them before, I was quietly confident I wouldn't get sniped. So I sort of did a lot of my physical prep before the draft. Um, so, like, physically prepping the Pokemon, I'm actually not that bad. I just actually have to, like, think of battle plans now individually. I've got ideas for them, not individually, like, collectively. I've got ideas for them individually. I just need to actually make that work, work like a jigsaw right. puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, has anything changed from the way you used to prepare in the last couple of seasons? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um... I like to be methodical with it. Mm. Uh, I like to sort of think of the the weaknesses that the other team may have, and just see how I can exploit them, and then right. also look at their strengths and see how I can stop that. Rather than, I don't think I've ever really looked at my own weaknesses. I think I've always just gone right. How can I stop them, and then how can I exploit that weakness? It's almost like, yeah, because if you watch any of my battles, apart from. That one sweep I had, I think it was a semi-final? I can't remember now. Um, yeah, 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 I think it was. <laughs> yeah, apart from that one sweep, pretty much most of my battles throughout two seasons are just... Like, the first half is just me trying to, like, put the feelers out. Like, yeah. you know, to try and, stop, try and stop their plan and then I put mine in or, you know. Even when I lose as well, like, the first half, it's always sort of 50-50. And then, like, you know, I either win or lose a battle in the last... Half of a of a of a battle, basically. <laughs> so yeah, the, the way I yeah the way I'm prepping for it, it's pretty much exactly the same. Just try and find a way to stop them and then exploit the weakness. Well, I'll give you credit. I, I still talk uh, talk you up as probably one of the better tacticians in the league. Oh, thank um, you. It's <laughs> very impressive how you break teams down. <laughs> um, <laughs> when you're on your best day, you're pretty scary. <laughs> um, now, secret looking... is prepare for all of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's true. Um, now, looking at the team you drafted, uh, in draft order here, you drafted Zamazenta, Solgaleo, Hatterene, I never knew how to pronounce the name, Wishiwashi, Jolteon, Tauros, Ice Q, Mudsdale, and Kursala. You did mention, obviously, of course, these are all Pokemon who have yet to be drafted. Um, or at least. I mean, if they got drafted in the other one, I don't really count that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but how do you think your draft went with uh, with these nine here? I think it went very well. I got the nine I wanted. So yeah. for me personally, I think it went, like, obviously, I, it couldn't have gone any better. Um, and, then, like, when you look at the team as a whole, obviously, Pokemon aren't picked for a reason. So it might not be the strongest team out there. But if you look at it as a whole, it's not, it's not that bad. To be honest, it's it's quite a decent team, and there are Pokemon in there. I'm surprised haven't been picked, like Zamazenta, for example. Like, ha like yeah. no one's picked that ever, and it's it's only really like the items they hold, Zamazenta and Zacian, that change their stats. So it's basically got the same stats as Zacian, except one raises the attack when it enters, and one raises the defense. So it's mm -hmm. it's actually, and and you've seen how deadly Zacian can be. Yeah. So it's it, it's not that it's not that different from it really apart from just that obviously obviously the ability so it's yeah i'm surprised no one's picked it so was i <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so was i um i just want to mention by the way that this is the second season in a row that we're kind of linked last season i had mewtwo you had mew this season we got the doggos oh um, right of course yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> but that was and we do face each other yeah so we do good. we do <laughs> um now, how are you feeling about the team that you were able to draft? Obviously, you said you didn't get sniped, so I'm, I'm sure you're pretty happy with the team you have. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am I am quite happy with the team I've, I've drafted. Obviously, if I was to choose a team of just anyone, it would be... A, I'd probably have a completely different team. However, from the list of Pokemon I'd made that hadn't been picked before, I think this is the strongest one, and I'm actually quite confident with it. I'm not 100% sure if I can go on to win a championship with it, but I don't think it's completely out the running. Like there's a there's a few mons in there that when I've been looking into how they work, some of the move sets have surprised me and some of the builds 
and some of the things they can be used for have really sort of gone, oh, 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 I can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When, you know, I won't give any secrets away, but yeah, there's, yeah, a, there's yeah. a there's a few in there yeah. that like the moves like the move sets are quite vast, and you know, so it's like, oh wow, I've got a lot I can do with this. Yeah. And then you've got someone like Jolteon, who's a one trick pony, but is probably you know, it, it's a good trick, but it's know, a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a very good trick. It's very quick, and you know, I can hit hard with an electric move, but I don't think it's bit, it's not too much else after that. But no, I'm I'm fairly happy with my team, to be fair. Um, for these next couple questions, of course, it says every time you do not have to answer them. You do not have to give a detailed answer. It's up to you how much detail you want to go into. Um, are there any Pokemon on your team that might get an MVP throughout the season? Um, possibly Zamazenta. That's the obvious mm -hmm. choice. Um, even though it raises defense, not attack, I still think there's something you can do with it. That can make. It. I mean, it's a tech stat. It's, as you as you know, with Zacian, they've got exactly the same base stats. It's really good. Mm. <laughs> so, um, if anything, maybe that one. Um, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon that. I'm gonna see Zamazenta for that one. Uh, on the flip side, do you feel there are any underrated Pokemon on your team? Oh uh, yeah. Um, obviously, a Pokemon like Mudsdale is just a tank. Um, but Ice Q, if used correctly, can cause a bit of a bit of a stir for multiple reasons. Because obviously, it's like it's it's almost got an ability like Mimikyu, but it also changes its stats. So mm -hmm. if you can utilize the right stat at the right time in the right order, I think you can. It can go a long way. And it'll be it's going to be a hard one for someone to prep for because you know. You'd the other person would have to be in control <laughs> to try and pre uh, prep for an ice cube correctly. So yeah, maybe an, maybe ice cube could cause a bit of an upset. Ice face is scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how difficult confident? To use. <laughs> difficult. To, yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree. That's why like I've always looked at ice cube. I'm like, it's actually not that bad, but I don't think I'd want to use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might um, not use it again, but we'll see. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, how confident are you in your ability to fu fully utilize your team to its max potential? Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly confident. Uh, I'd say last season I used a lot of uh, utilize a lot of Pokemon to their full potential. But then again, there are a couple I don't think I did. like. You've got Lapras this season, I think, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure I used Lapras to the best of its ability last season. But I think like. It, you know, with the bigger picture, with my whole team, I think I did all right, and I, I quite pride myself on researching each individual Pokemon and what they can do. So yeah, I think I can get the best out of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, if I don't, that's life. But yeah, I'll, <laughs> give, I'll give it a go. <laughs> um, do you, do you think your team will be able to stack up well against the rest of the league? Yes, I'd. Yeah, I. I'd say it would do well enough. It it may be bested on occasion. Um, but I'd I'd say so. It seems like I've got a good balance of offense and defense. Um, it's it's a weird one because I've got like a few Pokemon that are entirely defensive and some that are entirely offensive, and it's not too much in the middle. So it's more like, yeah, if I can play them properly if I can you know put uh, bring back the great wall of Essex when I need to <laughs> and maybe use the uh, more offensive tactics I had at the tail end of last season try and make a perfect mix of them this season and see how I get on yeah I'd, yeah I'd say I'd say they stack up well against some of the other teams yeah you're pretty scary when you found your you were pretty scary when you found your balance for a while there <laughs> I think you only got like one kill on you in three games I did, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> um, now, moving back to the league here, you're in the Hoenn division alongside myself, uh, the LA Inferno, uh, the Walton Wingles and Nate Tube, and the Florida Rallets and Mike the Quick. Um, what were your thoughts when you saw who you were paired with? I was I was quite excited, actually, because <laughs> it's... Um, if we go in the order you, you said them, like, we've never battled before, which is a good start. 
I think we've only ever been in the same season once, but you know, so it's yeah. like you were in, and then I was in, then we were both in. So like we've this is our fourth combined season ish. <laughs> But no, it was um, <laughs> yeah, and I've, I, I'm quite interested to battle you because obviously, I think people probably know you do your research as well. So I think our battle is going to be quite an interesting one because it's either going to be like a chess match, uh, or it's going to be like a all out, <laughs> just six Boxing. five to someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the second one, but no, I think our one's going to be really interesting, mm-hmm. and I'm looking forward to that. And then obviously Nate. You know, I've, I've done content with him, and he's from the UK as well. We've got the first all UK EBL match in mm-hmm. week five. I'm really looking forward to that, <laughs> just because of the, yeah, just because it's the first all UK match, oh, and it's someone story. I know fairly well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've met Nate in person a, a couple of times as well, so it's yeah, it's it's really weird <laughs> <laughs> to think that I'll be battling him in EBL. It's great, and then obviously Mike Mike the Quicks just. Yeah, he's a total... I was going to say he's an unknown. Not as a person, as a battler in the EBL, you know. Right. So it's... Yeah, it's... Like I was um, like I was with Timmy at the start of last season. I didn't really know what to expect, and I, and that was a downfall, I think. So I've got Mike the Quick Week 1, who's someone I don't know. So I need to make sure I prep more than I did at the start of last season and don't underestimate anyone. Just assume they're going to win and try and figure out a strategy for it. Yeah. Uh, I made the same mistake, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, looking at your schedule here, you mentioned you got Mike the Quick in week one, uh, the Florida Rallets. Uh, week two, you have myself, Dale Inferno. Uh, week three, you take on the Indian... Oh, I'm sorry, not... <laughs> this is confusing because we haven't changed the schedule. It's the TJ Dropouts uh, and Smoosh. <laughs> Um, yeah. then you take on, and then we have a championship rematch with, I think, which I think everyone's going to be looking forward to in week four, uh, you go against the Fort Sill Warriors. Um, and then like you mentioned, you finish off your season with the Walton Wingles and Nate tube. Um, you mentioned it made you more excited. Are, is, are there any nerves to kind of match that excitement? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm a weird person i probably said this before on camera somewhere i'm I'm weird like when i used to do stand-up comedy before doing youtube videos i was never nervous until like i was on the side of the stage and someone said welcome to the stage you know and they said my name would be like ah and then everything sort of you know just just like oh oh there are the nerves all of them all at once it's real (laughs) yeah and i think i get like that for ebl i don't get nervous and then the second I hit record and start speaking my intro, it's almost like you can see the nerves go into my face. Like, mm-hmm. ah, oh, I've got a battle in a minute. <laughs> or, when, you know, when you see a message from someone saying, Ready. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, God. that's where I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> and so, being up against someone like yourself who's very sort of methodical in the way they battle, and then obviously three times champion, you're going to be nervous. You'd be crazy not to be nervous. Um, I wasn't nervous last season. (laughs) I was. I was so nervous. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. I was nervous for the championship match. Oh, God. (laughs) But yeah, um, yeah, there are are definitely nerves to go with the excitement of that. Um, Now, in terms of difficulty, how would you personally rate your schedule out of 10? Um, As... it's a very similar answer to what loads of people say because I've got two new people in the in the schedule. It's hard to sort of count those. So I'm gonna uh, if I took the new people out of the schedule because I don't know how they are. Then it's obviously you, Humberto, and Nate. Mm. And it's Humberto is obviously difficulty level is ten out of ten for a start. That's just you know anyone can agree with that. Um, yeah. You need to be on your top game to, to get anything from it. So that's... The t- <laughs> and I'd say, like, it's... The way me and you battle is very similar. So I'm actually... Re- like That's probably like 9 out of 10 as well. <laughs> um, and then Nate's track record lets him down a bit. He's shown yeah. glimmers. Uh, like, glimmers of what he can do. Yeah. Especially now he uses EV-trained and IV-trained ones. He's shown glimpses. That's what I meant to say. Like, especially against Bob. 
that he really gave yeah. Bob, um, a go for a uh, real go for his money, and that actually yeah. sort of made me think, oh, yeah, come on, Nate, that's good. So I think this season he's going to get a win somewhere. So I'm not going to say that's like a walkover because there's definitely no match in EBL is a walkover. No, <laughs> uh, no, and so I'm. Do you know what? I'm going to go eight out of ten. I'm going to go eight out of ten. That was a long-winded answer. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, is there anyone not on your schedule that you would like to face at some point this season? Ooh, that is a great question. Um, probably. Well. An obvious one is probably Jakey XY for a similar reason why I'm happy to be battling Nate just because I get on well with him on a personal level. You know, we're good mates. We've met up a couple of times in London just for some couple of drinks and you know, just have a have a bit of fun. So probably Jakey for for that. I'm just trying to think who else is in there now. Um, I don't. I've I've never battled Max either, so. Probably Jakey and Max it would have been. It would be good to battle them, but I, um, I think Max is in the Mega side, isn't? No, he's, yeah, he is in the Mega side, isn't he? Mm, he I can't remember now. He's on our side. Yeah. Oh, he's on our side. Oh, okay. So I might meet him in the playoffs, but the only way I'll meet Jakey is in the final. So it's yeah, Jakey and Max, just because personal level, and then Max, I've just never battled him. It'd be interesting. Right. Uh. Now, looking at the league here, looking at the league's teams, um, which ones do you feel are looking the most dangerous, not including your own? Yeah. Um, my laptop being two meters away is not a help right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Humberto's team, you know, the um, Fort Sill, I know it's a really obvious answer, but his team, he, he, no matter what coach it is, his team looks really tough. And I'm not just saying it because you're here, but yours does look dangerous as well. Just for the the, the Zacian and the way you use Leafy on, and what I know Lapras can do, even though I didn't quite manage to do it, um, especially with like Aurora Veil and the G Max Mid Hard. Like if that if you can pull that off, that's brilliant. But yeah, I'd say you two's teams, and I, I battle both of you, which is a bit annoying. Max's team looks pretty pretty decent as well. Just hopefully he can uh, he can do the same in singles as he would have done in doubles, which I'm sure he can. But you know, obviously it's, we all know it's completely different world. Single, oh, you said no Max's. I thought you yes. said Max, like Max's. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Max, yes, M I X I S. Do yeah. apologise. <laughs> My fault. That's the accent. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think those I'm, three teams. Because I, I made a face at the camera thinking you said Max. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure he's got a good team. I just can't remember it. So I suppose that that says it all. <laughs> he did the he did the wheel spin. You know, he didn't yeah. choose. <laughs> he won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the on the flip side, do you feel there are any teams that might be underestimated at the beginning of the season but perform beyond those expectations? Um, Jakey's he's got a good team. Like um, especially with that, I I know what a comfy can do in that team. Um, oh, what else has he got? I'm trying to remember now. I looked at this before we did the call, and now I forgot everything. You, you um, tell you? Yeah, go on, Nick. Go on. Uh, he's got Zarude, Heat Tran, Inteleon, Comfey, Quagsire, Archaeops, Mimikyu, Needle King, and Frostmark. Yeah. See, on, I think on paper that doesn't seem too outlandish, mm -hmm. but um, the way he's been talking. He hasn't obviously hasn't said any anything that he's doing, but the way he's been talking, he's quite confident in a few plays he's got with a few mons on there. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he can pull it off. But yeah, I know how deadly uh, a comfy can be, and yeah, <laughs> if you can use an Inteleon well, then it it can be pretty. It can be a, it could be a pain. Yeah, so I'd say Jakey's team, even though it might not look fierce, yeah, it, it probably could pack a punch. Uh, now, focusing back on your team here, <clears throat> how do you personally think you will perform this season? Um, see, every the two seasons I've played in the regular season, I have I've sort of just I've tried out all the different plays across the five weeks. So like, I think I've had a, a three-two record twice. So I've sort of proved that I'm beatable in the like like in the regular fixtures. 
and then I try and really fine tune everything in the playoffs. And I think this season, I'm confident of getting to at least the playoffs. And if I do that, I'm happy with a team that no one's ever wanted before. I'll probably show reasons why people haven't picked them before. <laughs> <laughs> if I can, yeah, if I can get an, a, a team of rejects into the playoffs, I'll, I'll, I'll consider that alone like an achievement. And then from then on in, it's just like, right, now how do I do this? <laughs> how can I win? Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm confident I can probably get myself out there again. I'm, I'm confident in that. And then, yeah, from, from the play on, playoffs in, it's just, yeah, winner takes all. Mm-hmm. Um, now, now here's your chance to put these out in the air. Um, <laughs> you know, set them in stone. Are there any specific goals... You might have for the season, whether short term or long term. I think getting to a, I, I know I've been to two finals, but I think if I can just at least get to the playoffs, like I just said, there is, that would be a goal. If I can just do that, I'm happy. And then I'll think of everything like meticulously. Um, I don't think I've ever got like an MP, MVP for a week. I don't think. So that'd be nice if I can try and get an MVP for a week, and I've got it in playoffs, but like in the regular season, yeah. you know, where it sort of, you know, where you're competing against, well, this season, fifteen other coaches. Only one of those coaches will get an MVP. Well, you know, and uh, it'd be nice to, it'd be nice to get that. That'd be a nice little personal goal because I don't think I've ever got that. I tend to, like I said earlier, I tend to just sort of keep battles close and then, you know, try and finish it near the end. I never <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> I'm looking back at the cards right now. I never noticed that. Huh, it's it's not intentional. <laughs> it's not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I would yeah. assume. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And now for the final question, Ooh. the top of the interview, uh, every preseason interview that I've ever done. Um, why are you going to be champion of the elite battle league at the end of the season I think I'm going to be champion because I've got a team that no one's seen in EBL so no one knows really what to expect from them you can do your research and that's fine but I think I got to a final in season 3 doing some unexpected things with Pokemon and I think I'm gonna if I can do some unexpected things with Pokemon that people haven't even seen before then I think that's gonna be a key to success and that's why I'm gonna be champion just because people aren't gonna see what's coming I like it now that is the interview portion of this out of the way uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over to you so you can take it away with all your good plugs socials project merch all that good stuff, go ahead and take it away. Um, well, like I said uh, um, at the start, I'm just doing a lot of uh, YouTube shorts and TikTok bits at the moment. I've got, I've, um, a few years ago, I recorded a load of comedy shorts and I've now taken, well, comedy video y type things before shorts was a thing. <laughs> and I've now taken them down and I'm re uploading them as shorts and they're getting like 20 times as many views as they did before. So they're on there if you like a, a 20 second little skip. Um, I've just opened 24 packs of Pokemon cards for 24 shorts, <laughs> so um, they're coming. I'm doing a series with the Doorman. We're doing a ver- an Auras versus at the moment. We got talking at the end of our EBL match last season, and we just thought, yeah, sod it, let's do a series in the new year. So that's up there as well. And everything else, oh, what have I got? My five-question interview series, mm. that's also a thing that's happening mm-hmm soon <laughs> I'm trying to th- yeah soon I'm trying to think of when I'm uploading this <laughs> uh, yeah and then I'll, I'll be honest for the rest of it it's just sort of up in the air while I'm getting the, the quick rebrand done but I suppose yeah the rebrand's coming I'm going to change from Pokey Pidge to Pidge Plays and I'm going to do a bit more than Ooh. just Pokemon so there you go <laughs> I haven't changed my logo in five years I think it's about time <laughs> <laughs> hey mine's never changing <laughs> no, I like yours. It's good. <laughs> um, 
And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is our preseason interview with the coach of the Colchester Celtics. I need to keep remembering to say Celtics, not Celtics. Um, <laughs> the coach of the Colchester Celtics, Poke Pidge, soon to be Pidge plays. Uh, be sure to show some love his way alongside all the other coaches in the Elite Battle League. Are there any final words you have for the fans of the Colchester Celtics out there? Thank you, fans. This is for you. Woo! <laughs> I'll take autographs um, at the end of my win. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll, all meet, we'll all meet up in the library. We'll queue outside. Five pound signature. There you go. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Meet up. <laughs> meet up coming soon. Uh, <laughs> now, good sir. I wish you good luck with this season. Uh, and we'll be seeing all of you watching real soon for the start of season five on February 25th. Take care. Yes. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this video. I do recommend the couple I've put on screen now. I've got the little subscribe circle. Click it if you want. Well, click something. <laughs>